I am using a throwaway account since my husband follows the main one. It has taken me more than I want to admit to be able to make this post, but I hope maybe some other parents who have been in a similar situation can use this to feel less alone. I'm a mother of three beautiful and smart children. I have two daughters, Alice, Jessica, and Leather. I wanted to share my experience because I know how hard PPD, postpartum depression, is. To start with, I want to add a trigger warning because my experience with PPD was incredibly rough. I had my firstborn a few years ago, and I've suffered with anxiety and depression most of my life beforehand. I ignored the issues, and when I got pregnant, it got really bad. After I had my baby, I spiraled. I couldn't sleep, and I couldn't take care of myself or my baby. I had continuous thoughts of drowning myself in the tub or throwing myself down the stairs or hurting my baby. I ended up going to the ER for panic attacks because I couldn't function. I could barely breathe. The doctor in the ER prescribed me Zoloft, and the first few weeks were so damn hard. I felt like I was losing my mind. One day I woke up and I felt a little better. From then on I kept getting better and eventually, around eight months postpartum, I felt like myself again. I really didn't want to take medicine, but it helped and I'm forever grateful for modern medicine. I relaxed before I knew it. I've gone through stages of self-isolation before, but this has been the worst. I had family and friends text me asking how I was doing, and I ignored most of them because the messages and thinking about replying to them and explaining how bad I felt gave me anxiety. It's been months now, and I have even more anxiety about reaching out to people and don't even know where to start, and I keep putting it off. I keep putting a lot of stuff off. People tell me to call them to talk or spend time, and I never do. I feel like people are probably mad at me or just tired of dealing with my issues by now and they won't understand. I just feel so alone right now like I don't have any close friends and it doesn't help that I've closed myself off to people. I've been avoiding talking to a doctor about how I feel, but I'm going to at my next appointment so I can get some help. I've been feeling bad pretty much every day and I know it's not healthy. I want to be better for my baby. So after giving birth to my first child, I immediately regretted my decision. I realized I was not fit to be a mother and did not love my child as a mother should. I would pry the nights away if I didn't get more than three hours of sleep at a stretch or if the baby woke up often to nurse. I would yell and scream at my husband if he made minor mistakes and things didn't go how I had planned them. I would stay in bed all day with the baby and barely enjoyed her. I'd break things and even get violent at my in-laws if they ever questioned my parenting or choices and blamed me for anything related to the baby. My husband was supportive and loving, but he too got tired after a point. He thought things would change with time and medication. They did change for a brief period of time and my husband strongly felt we needed another baby in our lives to complete us. I was against this as raising one was a Herculean task in itself for a person like me. My husband, a couple of years after the first, convinced me to have another. I was at first extremely hesitant and did not want other children, but I decided that maybe this was a way to fix things and give my other child a chance to have a sibling. That of course didn't work. My husband loves kids. And because we come from a culture that sees the more children the better I gave in once again and had my third. I realized more children didn't really change that much for me. I was already a mother after my first and my life was already ruined back then. Now, I don't want anyone to think that I am a bad mother. I am a great mother and fight to hide my depression every day. That is why one of the reasons I went all out this Christmas. I had suddenly gotten a flash of energy that I decided I wanted to use this Christmas. My husband, loving my change in attitude and spending time with family, was all game on having a huge Christmas family party, which included our parents, our siblings, and all our children. We were a lot of people and most slept in our house on Christmas Eve. There were a lot of presents under the tree because of that. On Christmas morning, I woke up earlier than the others to prepare breakfast, and I looked inside the living room and just screamed, completely breaking down and crying. All of the presents had been opened, the boxes were opened, and the presents were scattered everywhere. I completely lost it, and that woke up the others. 
When the children saw they started crying too, they had all been so excited for the many presents this year. The adults were in shock. Well, if you wonder who the culprit was, we quickly figured out that it was my youngest, Leather. He literally went downstairs with one of his opened presents. They have recently entered a super defiant and curious age, and I know I can't blame them. But God, I hate them for what they did. I'm sorry, but I do. My husband's parents started lecturing me on how I should have been raising my child to not even think about doing things like that. My parents started arguing with my husband's parents. My children were screaming and crying, asking me, Mommy, will we not have presents? And stuff like that. My youngest was just looking at the scene innocently, and though they didn't know, it made me extremely mad. I just lost it. I walked out of the house with my purse and my pajamas and just drove away. I went to a hotel and just stayed there for a couple of days in shock, trying to process my feelings toward my children and just bawling my eyes out. I probably traumatized them. The whole time my husband and family had been blowing up my phone scolding me for just leaving. But if I hadn't left a cool down, I don't know what I had done. I eventually went back home. The children seemed fine. Apparently, my husband had just handed them their opened presents, and that took their minds off things. The rest of the family helped create a somewhat Christmas for all the children. I do feel bad for leaving. I feel like my kids are gonna hate me for it when they grow up. My husband still resents me too. He said I failed as a mother and that he never thought I would do something like that to the kids or him. Maybe I overreacted. I just don't know something triggered inside of me. I don't think it was just because of the presence. This was about my whole motherhood. My family told me that someday I will be able to look back on this and laugh. But I don't think so. I really don't think so. I can't even look at my youngest right now. First of all, I want to say thank you to those who have commented such nice things and helpful advice. With you guys, I have finally been able to see clearly. For some, it might be stupid that an internet site completely changed one's mind. But I have had no friends, no strangers, and certainly, no family telling me any of the things I have been told in this group about me, my family, and the particular situation that occurred Christmas morning. Honestly, it was a wake-up call. Looking back at my life, I have started to notice the wrongful way I've been treated more and more by my husband, his family, and sometimes even mine. It has been almost as if I have just become used to my role as a mother and wife and therefore forgotten myself completely, forgotten my own needs and desires. And now I finally see just how unhappy I actually am. I'm not gonna lie, this last week has been hell. I've been reading the comments and bawling my eyes out late into the night on a chair on the porch while everyone was asleep. It was almost kind of a catharsis in a way. I suggested going to family therapy to my husband, but he would hear none of it. He wouldn't put the kids in it and claimed the only one who needed therapy was me. It was like talking to a wall, and when the argument got really heated, he did something that changed my view of him forever. It made me realize that I don't even know this man anymore and that I needed to get the F out even though he apologized profusely. I went to my parents' house, again, bawling my eyes out, and told them everything that had happened. My mom cried with me and my father had an aura of sadness around him of course as many dads, having that stone-cold and strong face. I knew he was hurting though. I yelled at my parents for the way they had treated me Christmas morning not defending me and texting me guilt-tripping messages. Also, about past similar situations, even about my childhood. They were quite shocked I never yelled, never reacted this way. And they were actually sorry like genuinely, they apologized. Then I dropped the next big bomb on them. I want a divorce. I am done. You guys were incredibly right. I would die, go insane, or something even worse in that environment, and I see that now. It's like I have a moment of clarity and I had to act now not to fall back into the old ways. They were of course hesitant in the start, but soon came to realize that it was for the best for, honestly, everyone. A law was discussed at their house that is way too long and complicated to talk about here. So that's what I did. I went and filed for divorce. My husband of course was incredibly enraged as I was packing my things at the house with my parents. He kept telling me slurs and hurtful things the whole time, 
but I knew I had to stay strong. Now, a bit of information on the divorce. Firstly, his parents are rather wealthy, he can easily get amazing lawyers and legal advice and so on. I knew going into this that I would probably not get anything out of the divorce, which was exactly how it went, the house, the cars, and the kids. He wanted it all. But I didn't care, I just want the divorce finalized. If that's his criteria for getting my life back, I'll take it. A long legal battle wouldn't be fair for the kids anyways and I wouldn't even be able to take care of them if I for some reason actually won. I know they will be loved, cared for, and happy with their father, and that is the best I can give them right now. I will be able to see them once a month if I am deemed fit to and for me, that's perfect. I won't describe too much about how saying goodbye to the kids went. Of course, it was absolutely heartbreaking in many ways, but it is too late to look back now. We have explained to them together about what's gonna happen, how it is gonna be, and so on. The divorce is still being finalized, so technically, I am not completely free, but in spirit, I feel so freaking free. It is as if a weight on my shoulder has been lifted. Of course, I carry the guilt and sadness for my kids deep inside, but I keep telling myself that I did what was best for both them and me. I send them thoughts every day and I plan on writing them a long letter each about my side of the story. I want them to understand that none of this is their fault. I currently live with my parents and I feel a sense of sadness from them too. They will of course miss the big family and the kids, but I think they know they had to put me first this time. Of course, they do not agree with everything, but I never expected them to. Talking about my husband's family on the other hand. My god the guilt tripping, we know this isn't you, the messages were endless. I simply had to block them in the end, it was too much. When the divorce is finalized we will let my siblings know as well, I have no idea how they are gonna take it. My husband's siblings had just blocked me which honestly was fine for me. I know some people may see me as a horrible mother in person, but for once I chose to listen to my heart with a little push from some people online. Thank you to you all once again. I am at this moment looking at hotels in Spain, just waiting for the divorce to be finished. I am visiting an old friend over there that I haven't been allowed to visit in years. I had a little saving outside my marriage enough to spend a week or two over there. Luckily my workplace is owned by a friend that was super understanding, so they let me have a month off to figure out a place to live and have some time for myself. It is as if I am in a dream and I'm scared of waking up suddenly, I feel like a new woman. Can't wait for the plane ride away from the country, and even if it is just for a while, it will feel as if I am living a truly new life. I wish you all luck and joy throughout your lives. Thank you so much for being a part of my ride to freedom.